Greetings. My name is Raheem the Goat, and I help men achieve their goal physique in 12 weeks or under. So you may have been online and you've probably been researching how you can build muscle and how you can just build that aesthetic physique that you've been trying to build for or dreaming about for such a long time. And what if I told you that there is a very, very, very simple and easy and efficient way to build your dream physique. I know it sounds crazy, right? Because uh, what you're probably used to hearing is that you have to be in a huge caloric surplus. You have to do 30 sets per muscle group and you have to go to the gym seven days a week in order to gain muscle and you got to live heavy. That's probably what you're used to hearing. And let me go ahead and tell you now, and that is completely false. Now, a little bit about me. My name is Raheem the Goat, like I said, and I've been training uh, consistently for about two, three years. I started when I was in college and I was very skinny. I didn't have any muscle that much. And there's a butterfly flying around me it's a good sign, divine energy. Anyways, so I started when I was in college and my roommate basically got me into it. And I was very small when I started out and I didn't really know what I was doing. I would lift very heavy and stuff like that. And I wasn't eating much at all. And I was, I didn't really know much. And it wasn't until a little while ago, maybe about a year ago, I discovered this new way of training, uh, progressive overload. And I really learned and I honed in on progressive overload, you know what I'm saying? And having the correct form. So before I learned about all this stuff, I wasn't really tracking my workouts. And if I was tracking my workouts and my meals, I was tracking it little bits, you know, bits by here, I get on my notepad and I just basically do every single set because I was thinking in my head, oh, well, I'm going to failure, right? So you don't really have to track your workouts. You don't have to pr go up as long as you're going to failure. It doesn't matter, right? I was I was, lift, I was lifting fairly heavy most of the time, you know, getting stronger, but I was still very small. Why is this? Why is my physique not looking the way that I wanted it to? And that's because I was prioritizing the wrong muscle groups and I wasn't using correct form. And more importantly, I wasn't tracking my workout. So I didn't really know how much I lifted last time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm very excited to, to, to say that I'm working on this new app. I have this new app that I'm using and it basically tracks your workouts. You can track your meals. So, you know, you can go back and see how good you did last time, how many reps you hit on a certain exercise, and you can literally just go and improve that workout. And that's gonna lead to more muscle gains in the future. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say you're doing bench press, right? And you're going for 10 reps. That's what I was doing today. I was doing the incline bench press. And what I was going for was 10 reps. So I started very light, because I know a lot of guys we like to live heavy and ego lift and just try to impress people and stuff like that but that's not the key that's not the way that you really build muscle so you want to go you want to hit 10 reps you want to hit the target reps for every single set so and then when you hit the target reps for every single set then and only then do you bump the weight up five pounds so that way you can continue making progress slowly, slowly, but surely. And you're not rushing anything. You're not risking getting injured and stuff like that. You're not doing any of that, you know what I'm saying? So the way that I train, I basically train in this way. So the first four weeks, I, I do like a 12 week program. And if you'd be interested in anything like that, in me making you a custom workout routine and a meal plan and all that, uh, click the link below and fill out some basic information about your goals and fitness and everything and I'll get right back to you. 
but now so here's how i train i do like a 12 week program and the first four weeks i focus mainly on form uh, muscular endurance and stabilization and this is basically what will prepare me it'll prepare you for the next phase that you are about to enter into which is hypertrophy phase uh, for the second four weeks and of course you're focusing on hypertrophy and strength for the most part so you've built up that endurance and you've built up all the necessary tools that your body needs to go into hypertrophy now after we do the hypertrophy phase, which is the second four weeks, we go into a more power-based phase on the last four weeks. So basically, you're going to lift more heavier. So now on the first four weeks, the, the you know stabilization, endurance, you're lifting slightly lighter weight and slightly more reps. And on the second four weeks, you're lifting moderate reps and moderate weight and then of course on the last four weeks final four weeks you're lifting heavier weight slightly heavier weight and slightly lower reps and what that does that keeps that, that prevents your muscles from plateauing you don't have to worry about you know plateauing or hitting your genetic limit there's none of that you you don't have to take any any um deloading weeks or anything you don't have to really worry about being injured because you're building up to everything and after you're done with the um you know the the last four weeks you start over and go to another four weeks and then you can do a different training program if you want or you can just do the same one you know and it it works very great for everyone you know now as far as the muscle groups that i prioritize to have an aesthetic physique i don't just go in and do bench press all all the time that's what a lot of guys want to do just do bench press what i do is i try to prioritize my upper chest which i'm working more on that you know what i'm saying now i'm doing more upper chest work uh things like bench press in incline bench press and incline dumbbell bench press now dumbbells is going to give you more aesthetics and bench press kind of is just more strength focused so just keep that in mind so what I do is I focus on my upper chest, my side delts, my abs. You really want to focus on abs for sure. Make sure you are training abs. A lot of people say, and I quote, abs are made in the kitchen. And I think that is false. I don't, I mean, there's some truth to it. Of course, you do have to eat healthy and you might want to be in a little deficit. But the key to really getting a six pack, which nobody knows, is to train abs abs is a muscle abs are a muscle just like the rest of your you know your biceps or your chest you have to train that muscle in order to you know build it up so people are going to say oh wow i have a lot of fat in front of my abs no you just don't have abs that's all it is so go train the abs you have to train the abs and i also you know i started training my lower abs more and i found more ways to train those abs effectively and if you need any help with that on your technique, your form, click that link below and I'll be able to, you know, we'll be able to work something out and I can show you how to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you're, so you, you want to prioritize your upper chest, side delts, abs, um, your arms for sure. You want to do a separate arm day and that's what I do. So Monday I do chest. Tuesday, legs, Wednesday, shoulders, Thursday, back, Friday, arms. And also, I want to mention traps, you know what I'm saying, and lats. That's very important to make, you know, to, to look more balanced and everything, you know. And as far as your meals, you just want to eat an adequate level of protein and maybe like an adequate level of calories, um, depending on your activity level and what you do every day. You know what I'm saying? And that just makes it easier for you to get stronger and, you know, just progress throughout the, the workouts. It's not exactly that you need to uh, eat 5,000, 3,000 calories a day. It's just really that, you know, if you want to limit putting on fat and stuff like that, I would say just eat when you're hungry for the most part. You can still build muscle in a calorie deficit as long as you're training right you're recovering and you are getting an adequate level of protein you know what i'm saying 
Now, if you're not eating at all, of course, that's gonna make it very tough to, to build muscle. But you'll be surprised what you can do. I don't really eat that much and look at my body, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different approaches to it. And you know, there's a lot of information out there online and it's very hard to know how to do this. So what you really need is a structured routine, a plan, on how you're gonna get where you wanna get. And you need to learn this stuff from someone who has already done what you wanna do. Cause you can see I built, I built a, you know, some muscle and stuff like that. So, I mean, whether you, 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 you wanna learn from me or someone else, that person just has to be, have an expertise. I'm not even gonna say expertise level knowledge, but they just wanna be able to have experience in what you wanna do. So if you would be interested in learning from me and I can teach you exactly how I built this physique that I have right now, which gets me so many compliments, people, you know what I'm saying? People be saying, hey man, hey muscle man, how you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? People will call me muscle man and I, I love regular shows. So that kind of offends me a little bit cause I don't want to, you know, don't think of me as muscle man, Mitch, you know what I'm saying? And my mom guy. So yeah, but, uh, yeah, I get a lot of attention, you know, and it just brings you more opportunities in life. You know, when, if, if you're like applying for a job and trying to get a better job or, you know, you just have friends and stuff like that. People are going to respect you more. Not because not because it's like you have all this muscle or something like that. This, this is what everybody gets mixed up. Everybody gets wrong on the Internet and everything. It's not that you have this level of muscle is that when people people look at you and subconsciously they can tell that you take care of yourself you take very great care of yourself and they're like okay well if you're going to take care of yourself you're taking really good care of your body you're eating right and you're, you're working out if you have discipline to do that and you're going to have a discipline to take care of the business or take care of your job or take care of a friendship or a relationship or your children you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much what makes a you know makes a lady or, or anyone want to be a part of your life more when you take care of yourself. So it's not exactly about having a aesthetic physique or being jacked or whatever. It's really just the fact that you take care of yourself. That's the basic human thing that it, that's, that's attractive. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to clear up any mis any confusion anybody may have on that or any of that. But anyways, I came back from the gym not too long ago had a really great workout and now I'm about to go eat because I'm pretty hungry. So links down below if you need help. And my name is Raheem the Goat. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video to any of your friends who want to bulk up, cut, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And like always, never give up. Your younger self is for you. Peace.